So are you guys ready to do Kramer's rule for 3x3 three three or not? I'm going to write down the it's exactly the same idea. So if you have three equations using the Kramer's rule, you're going to have three answers on the right. So you replace all the coefficients of x with the three answers. And you find the determinant of it. So for the sake of completeness, I'm going to write the general form of Kramer's rule for 3x3 three three, uh, equations. And then we'll do an example on that, and that will be the end of our matrix. So let's say you are given that an equation a11x plus a12y plus a13z is equal to, I'm going to use a different pen, c1. And then a21x plus a22y plus a 2, 3, z is equal to c2. Then a31 x plus a32 y plus a33 z is equal to c3. Now as you can see, this is just a linear equation in three variables. As a corollary to what we just did, I am going to say that x is determinant of x over the determinant, right? y is determinant of y over the determinant, and z is determinant of z over what? The determinant. The question is, what is the determinant of x? So to find the determinant of, well, let's just find d. d is what? This symbol and all the coefficients a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, then a31, a32, and a33. That's, that's the determinant for the whole left hand side, right? Okay, so what is the determinant of x? The determinant of x is equal to, I'm going to replace all the coefficients of x with c1, c2, and c3. So I get determinant c1, c2, c3. Everything else remains the same. Then a1, 2, a2, 2, a2, 3. Then a1, 3, a2, 3. A33. Does it make sense? So if I'm looking for the determinant of x, I guess replace the existing coefficients of x with the answers to the right. C1, C2, C3. So why don't you go ahead and write for me the determinant of y and the determinant of z? Okay, so I think it's doable. So the determinant of y would be now x remains the same. So I put this thing in a11, a21, a31. Then in place of y, I put c1, c2, and c3. c1, c2, c3. Then I keep z the same. 
A13, A23, A33. I'm not saying it's easy to find a determinant of this is how you do it. How about, is it okay to take one actual example of numbers to do this? That was cemented. So here is the question for us to do. The question says, use Kramer's rule to solve. After this question, we'll take a break. So the question is this. Use Kramer's rule. Oh, I love this ink. It's so beautifully green. To solve x plus y minus z is equal to 3 minus x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to negative 3 x minus 2y minus 3z is equal to 4 yep so I give you five minutes to do this with practice you can do this in one and a half minutes if I give this question an exam I'll give the student two and a half minutes to do it you have to go back and look at your notes for the determinant You're going to find four different determinants. I know that sucks. This is still much better than the row echelon form, by the way. In my view, anyway.
Okay, so let me give you the answers. My suggestion is that this, if you haven't finished, you do it as homework for practice. Okay, so the overall determinant, which is what you get for the left hand side, right? D is going to be equal to 5. Okay. The D of X, the way we've defined this, is going to be 15. The D of Y is going to be negative 10. And the D of Z is going to be 5. And once you know all of these, then you can find the rest. X is 3 because of that. Y is negative 2 and Z is 1. So 